Everybody, oh god, this smush of my camera great way to start. Okay, today I'm going to be starting my museum card. Uh, I you don't actually have to start it on a Monday or on a Saturday or whatever, it can just be from whatever day you start it, then you have seven days of free access to a whole bunch of museums and attractions and things. And so I'm starting it today because I did free museums yesterday that I didn't even need to use the card for. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go to uh, possibly Finlandia, um, definitely the, the big Finnish museum that's guarded by the bear, I'll show you that in a bit. And I want to do one of the art galleries as well, but I'm not entirely sure which one. I know there's one like opposite the gallery, uh, the uh, museum that I'm going to be doing. Um, but in between that I'll come back and walk Zoe and feed Zoe again. So I've just dropped her back now uh, that uh, she's just had another little walk because she was moaning at the door and I was like, okay, come on then. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and so I'll, I'll be gone for like a couple of hours, come back, look after her. So hopefully this should time it quite nicely that I'll get to do tourist attractions whilst still being obligated to the pets and, and uh, fulfilling everything there. So yeah, let's go to a museum. She says, again, <laughs> we'll be doing this for a week. <laughs> this broadcast to bring you this public service announcement. Now, as you enter this particular museum, you'll be presented with these two doors, and common sense would dictate that as we read from left to right, this door on the left, which looks very large and inviting, would naturally be the entrance, and therefore this door on the right being rather small and clearly the inferior door would be the exit. However, since common sense is clearly just optional, this is not the case, and so what you will see from now on is me proceeding through the museum the wrong way round. Please learn from my mistakes all as I have many. I swear I have a ring just like that that I got at Camden.
I mean, I'm still, I think there's still a little bit more to see and I'm still going through it and everything, but, but like all the displays, um, there's like whole rooms where, that are set out as if um, the objects are in use. So like a whole room of a period house set up like the living room. So all of the artifacts are there as if they were in use, which is really cool because then you can kind of immerse yourself in the history. Um, and then there was like this little uh, like writing desk that it was lifted up and the writing desk was an artifact but then inside they had a glass sheet over the top so you couldn't like touch everything but inside was everything that would be inside the writing desk as well and it had like the little pocket watch and the little pens and everything and they were all artifacts as well and well that was really cool like it's not just stuck behind glass it looks a lot more interactive and then uh, speaking of interactive i've just found upstairs there's like this massive uh, child-friendly workshop where there's all like replicas of stuff from uh, the period and you can have a go so like there's like a massive loom up there you can have a go at making a traditional finnish house with like fake building blocks and everything and uh, there's like a little kitchen set it's basically like a massive play area but you're learning at the same time there's even a little conveyor belt to show like the industry of Finland and everything that all kids can have a go but of course I had a go as well <laughs> and, uh, and there's like a little throne that you can sit on and be the king or queen um, yeah, I just thought that was really cool like this is definitely one of the better museums that I've seen uh, like out because I say London sets a really high standard for museums like we have really good museums to be honest probably because you know we colonized so many places and stole their artifacts but but no Finland uh, here so far I really like your museums you've got some really good interactive and thought out displays that you know kind of allows you to immerse yourself so it's not just like a random dirty object you can see what it was, what it used to be used for, and in the context that it was used, and I think that's that's really cool. Anyway, um, also these beautiful stained glass windows are just like, oh, oh I'm a little bit high. There we go. Look at those, gorgeous. Uh, yeah, so I've got like I think another like maybe 40 minutes before I need to go back and walk Zoe again, um, and I think they have a cafe here, so I might go get a coffee. <laughs>
today was a busy day and my feet hurt. <laughs> I managed to fit in three museums today, which didn't think I was going to do, wasn't planning on, but yeah, three. I was pretty pleased. And that is because two of them were awesome, but in between my awesome sandwich, there was a big slice of crap, which unfortunately was the modern art museum. <laughs> but we'll get to that. So started off the day by going to the National Museum of Finland which was brilliant and say you saw the stuff that I said I loved and uh, had a lot of like really well thought out displays and everything and it was just really interactive and very cool uh, and then I came back here walked Zoe fed her checked on the cats and everybody and then I headed back out to the Kaisma I think Kaisma or Kaisma, I'm not sure how you say it, but basically the Museum of Contemporary Art. Now, I quite like modern art. I'm more of a classic kind of gal, but I don't have any aversion to contemporary art. And I was like, well, do you know this? This will be interesting. Mm -mm. There is some weird ass shit in that museum, man. I'm glad I didn't have to pay 14 euros. If I'd paid 14 euros and gone and seen that, I would have been like, you what? Like, can I have some, some money back, please? Because no. Art is fluid, you know, like, it's what you make of it, but there was an awful lot of crap in that one. And, you know, I know I'm probably gonna get some hate from like a, a fair few people like, oh, you don't understand. I'm an artist. I try to understand as much art as possible. And a lot of the time, a lot of modern art, I'm like, you know what, I know that I don't get that, but I appreciate it and stuff. There was so much crap in this one, it was just weird, like weird, weird. Didn't provoke any kind of emotion. It was just like, well, what happened? <gasps> he turned on, the did you just turn on the oven? Cat's trying to set fire to the house. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, there was, like, as soon as I entered, there was a rabbit humping a pig. Not real, obviously, like, just massive cartoony s sculpture thing. And then right to its side, there was uh, a deer going down on a gorilla. And the gorilla looked like it was loving it, living for it. It was just a little bit, like, huh, okay, like... <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I appreciate highbrow, um, you know, society commentary art. I also appreciate beautiful for the sake of it, for the joy of it art. I enjoy cartoons and comic books and so many different types of art. And like I say, I'm no stranger to modern art. I, I love the Tate Modern even. There was, there's a bunch of stuff in there that I'm just like, mm -hmm, no, but a lot of it absolutely love. This one just left a bad taste in my mouth. So far, what the actual f I mean, it had a special emphasis on technology, which again, I'm a fan of technology, but, there, <laughs> but they interpreted that as weird ass videos. So there was like this weird, uh, like kind of like Minecraft modders dropped acid and went nuts and made this weird, like sexual hell where naked dudes in chains were running on a treadmill and like pulling things and being stretched and it was, it was all like neon colors and there was like a really weird upbeat soundtrack to it which didn't work with the whole like horrific nightmare feel that was happening in front of my eyes there was another one that was like uh the Japanese schoolgirl dance games. There was like that with different characters and stuff and and then it, it really weirdly jump cut to something completely different and irrelevant and that was very strange and uh, yeah, no, there was an awful lot of stuff that was like the kind of art that I can't really get on with which is they take found objects and sometimes don't even do things to them um, or they just sort of smash them up. There was a bunch of um, massive like TVs that they clearly just like smashed and left on the floor and I was like 
that's a perfectly good TV right there that you've just wasted and you're gonna sell that for ridiculously overpriced and now you can't even use the TV. Like, <laughs> so there was an awful lot of that and there was a lot of, I don't know, it, it was just, it felt like a perversion of what art and modern art is supposed to be. Like it, I, I, I tested this theory, I, myself and my friend, when we were at the Tate Modern years ago on a school trip. Once again, I like the Tate Modern, um, but we, we had found a lot of stuff, you know, like the bricks just laid out and there was a bunch of like found object ones that were literally just placed on a podium. We found an empty podium and we decided to test this theory. So we took out my pencil case, took out a couple of pencils, put it on this empty podium, stood back and just sort of left it for a bit and within minutes, people were crowding around, like discussing the meaning of the pencil case and why the pencils were angled at this thing. And thing. it was so funny. And we we're just like, okay, so they cl they clearly think that this is great art, and it's it's us pissing about basically. We did it again. I took off one of my shoes and we left it on the podium. Same thing happened again. Nobody noticed the one-legged girl walking around with only one shoe on. But everyone was like pondering the meaning of this lone shoe that had a hole in it like all my shoes do. And oh, it was just so stupid. So like I love art, but I think I have like a love-hate relationship with people who claim to know all about art because Mm, you, you can't necessarily like it's so subjective so yeah but I, I didn't like this one basically and I thought you know if I had to pay 14 euros for it I would have been really mad because it just was a waste in my opinion I'm sorry if you really like uh, weird ass modern art in inverted commas um, like kind of gruesome sexualized weirdness then you may enjoy this uh, but anyone else I'd say save your money for another one how about this other one after that I came back again and checked on Zoe Bay and everything was fine so I went off again because on Wednesdays a lot of the museums stay open until way later so that was really handy this one was open until like eight o'clock so I was like okay I'll stay out and do the atheum I'm not sure how to say it atheum basically it's a big ass classical art museum it also had a fair bit of contemporary art and, and modern art uh, but it wasn't, it, it was the kind of modern art that I'm used to, it wasn't found objects, it was a lot of um, abstract paintings and things, uh, there was a whole bunch of beautiful landscapes, a lot of classical art, uh, my personal favourite is uh, portraits, there was a whole room full of portraits and there were sculptures and everything and this one I really got into as well. Uh, Again, I was about to use my museum card and it turns out today, for some reason, it was free entry anyway, so I just got to go into this one for free as well. And yeah, it was, it was very beautiful. The actual location is very beautiful and the collections were very good, um, well created and well thought out and everything. And uh, yeah, oh, it was really gorgeous. There was so many... Um, each one had, you know, the little information about it and there was a whole bunch that really took my fancy that I took a picture of so I'm going to do some more research on them because I am a nerd. Uh, and yeah, that was, that kind of um, fixed me for my <laughs> modern art experience. <laughs> But the other two, highly recommend. I will leave the links in the description down below to the Modern Art Museum as well, because I'm fair. And uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend checking out the um, the Anthem Arts Art Museum and the National Finnish Museum, because that one was very, very cool. Hello. <laughs> very, very beautiful and very immersive just with like the soundtracks playing with all the like the mammoth sounds and things when you're in the prehistoric um, display and then like birds tweeting when you're supposed to be in the manor house and you can hear them through the through the uh, windows so it was very very cool that one I, I highly recommend oh and also 
they had free postcards in the uh, the kids, you know, try it yourself section. They had like, please take these postcards are free. I didn't steal them. They really were in a big box saying free postcards. And so I took these two, which is uh, nice to add to my collection. Very pleased. Um, speaking of free as well, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the other day when I walked up again to get my museum card, I was in the, the tourist attraction centre and I already had all the leaflets and things, but on my way back from there, I popped into the train station where the other tourist information little post is much smaller, but I just thought just in case they have anything different to the big one because I'm like, I must have all the maps <laughs> I need a little help I can get, I get lost so easily uh, yeah, so I went to this other one and lo and behold, they did have something that the tourist information centre didn't have in the train station, they had these little coupon booklets look at this, it's absolutely chock-a-block full of discount coupons so like that's to get into the zoo for cheaper that's you know like all sorts of it's got things in here for attractions for food for literally everything and anything so i was really and it's a huge great booklet look at that so i'm gonna save myself a whole bunch more money and probably eat a whole bunch of stuff that i wouldn't have got to eat before with this little handy booklet so if you come to Helsinki make sure you check out the train station um, it's really cool by in there anyway like the architecture is really awesome and stuff as well um, but yeah go to the little tourist information point because they may have these little booklets still there if you go and you can save yourself even more money so handy dandy anyways uh, the cats are now scratching and making background noise <laughs> And uh, I'm really, really tired because, say, I've walked around three museums today. And not to mention the getting there and back again, which is not too far, but if you're doing it like several times a day because you're coming back to walk a dog, oh, and the walking of the dog as well, yeah, my feet hurt. <laughs> my feet really hurt, so. <laughs> uh, but more tomorrow. I'm not sure where I'm going yet tomorrow. Um, I have a big long list of. All the different museums that my museum card covers and uh, I, if it's nice weather I'd like to go up to the botanical gardens because uh, the botanical gardens is on my museum card because they you do have to pay to get into that one um, but it's free with my museum card obviously but the winter gardens which is just over not too far from the place that I'm staying uh, that one's free but it has weird opening times so I think I will leave that until like once all my museum card days are gone I'll do all the other free stuff that remains like the Moomin Cafe and other things and then try and fit in as many museums and attractions that are covered by my card for free um, in this week period which starts today because I used it today and now I have seven days to explore Helsinki's art museum tourist attraction scene <sighs> so <laughs> uh, but yeah stick with me for the ride because I think it's gonna be fun uh, it's cool as well most places they let me film so yeah I'm getting a weird warning thing on my camera that's probably time for me to go thanks for liking commenting and subscribing see you in the world bye